love mercy but it's tough so God right now we just acknowledge and admit we have to have your presence here we can't move this forward without you so we hereby acknowledge that we depend on you for what we need to lead apart from your life and light leading in us we'll corrupt what we touch but you meet us where we are and we thank you that you've never left us alone Rather, you're near to everybody who calls on you. And we call on you now. And Father, I would do something unusual. I want to call up greatness now in each of these leaders. Lord, not for their own sakes, but for the sake of this city. You said to Abraham and David, you would make their names great. They had to follow you. They had to learn how to lead. They had to learn how to be humble. And I pray that for these right here. Lord, make them great leaders. Give them favor to be magnanimous, to be stunningly truthful, but filled with grace, to have courage of lions, vision of eagles, keen intellects, strong but malleable hearts. Lord, help them rise up and lead with vision, with hope and deep, deep dependence on you. Father, you are the great creator, and there are creative ideas like sparks of flames in these leaders. And so we ask now by your Holy Spirit that you would blow on those sparks, you would fan them up ablaze, let your creativity be released and deployed in and through them this night. Father, we pray you would open creative solutions to problems that seem beyond reach, creative approaches to issues that haven't even been comprehended, contemplated yet. Lord, make these leaders great so that this city will prosper in every way possible. And Lord, help them to help each other, to be allies in the fight for greater good. You really do love this city. You have a heart for it, God. You know all the challenges and you know all the seeds of glory that are planted here. We ask for new life and light and hope into this place. Help us to see what you see and then to govern justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you. Help this city become a place of new beginnings for people and families and companies. Lord, in this year of 2014, when so many things are happening so quickly, our heads are spinning, there's dangers and opportunities. Father, we take a stand together against the curse of poverty, against the curse of division and divided agendas. Lord, we call for and declare a divine reversal of those things set against your desire for this heart, your desire of heart for this city. Father, we all here agree tonight for the release of your grace and your truth to meet us 
and to lead us so that Valdosta will become more and more of a city set on a hill. And Lord, finally, just make this city a city of honor where we honor you in all things. We honor each other. May honor become a hallmark in this place. And we ask these things in the confidence, in the boldness of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.